When you think about the Christmas story and all the different sights and sounds of the nativity, all the different sights and sounds of those who show up in the Word of God as we celebrate Christmas, is there a part of the story that, that maybe as a child was your favorite? Is there a character in the story that, that maybe was your favorite? And of course, you're going to say, well, the answer is Jesus. Yes, Jesus is the best part. There's no question about it. But is it the shepherds or, or, or maybe it's Mary and Joseph or, or maybe the wise men or the angel? Is there something that stood out to you or maybe even stands out to you now? as you celebrate Christmas and think about this incredible story of the miraculous work of God, is there something that stands out to you? Well, I can remember as a child being so fascinated with the wise men and these strange men that, that came from the East to, to show up, to bring gifts to Jesus, following a star, this amazing miracle of God, guiding them through the night to come and see the Savior who had been born. I mean, what, a, what an amazing thing to consider that these, these wise men, these men of wisdom, were willing to do this crazy thing, to journey from a faraway place to come and bring gifts to the Son of God, an incredible thing to consider for sure. And here in this third week of the Advent season, we're gonna turn our attention to the wise men in the story of Christmas because the theme for the third week of the Advent season is joy. And we see this incredible picture of joy as the wise men come to deliver these gifts and visit the Son of God. This is Matthew chapter two, verses 10, and 11, the word of God says this, when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and they worshiped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. This beautiful scene, a scene of these wise men who had traveled a great distance following the star, showing up at the house where, where Mary is with, with the child Jesus. And, and they celebrate, they fall on their face and worship. And the only thing they can do in their joy is bring these gifts before him in gratitude as a sign and an act of worship. And we all know Christmas is a lot about gifts and there is always a focus on giving and receiving at the Christmas season. But isn't it incredible to consider that the greatest gift of Christmas, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is a gift that when he is received, he brings exceeding joy. He brings an abundance of joy. He's greater than any present that could ever be wrapped and put under a tree. The Son of God, the promise fulfilled, the one who has come to forgive our sins and set us free is the source of the greatest joy that we could ever experience in this life. So as you think about Christmas and you think about all the joy of the giving and receiving of gifts, remember the true joy of Christmas, the greatest joy we could ever find, a joy that will last for all of eternity, is the joy that is found through Jesus Christ our Lord.